Hi, Philip here. This week, Flutter announced a new challenge called Flutter Puzzle Hack. And the last time there was some kind of challenge like this, I was at Google. So I thought I would give you tips and some thoughts about this new challenge. All right, so this was announced uh, this morning, from my perspective at least. And uh, you can see there's a Medium article about it. And basically what they're asking you is to build in one month uh, this kind of game, a puzzle uh, where you slide uh, pieces, right? And uh, make it as good as possible and as cross-platform as possible and so on. So uh, similarly in the past, we had the Flutter Clock Challenge, for example, where you were building clocks like this. Um, like weird clocks, basically, uh, which which was a lot of fun. Uh, and I was involved in this, so I have some experience. Just to be clear, I have no insider knowledge about this particular challenge, the Flutter puzzle hack, uh, because I'm no longer at Google. So and And I haven't been at Google for a few months now. So yeah, I don't know anything. I'm just extrapolating knowledge from the past. All right, tip number one, don't try to win. The reason I'm saying this is because there's quite a treasure of basically money. If you look at the prizes, a bunch of money you get for being the best animation, uh, best execution, or uh, most creative, best multi-platform, and there are runner-ups and third places for all, all of these. And then uh, there are other, and, and that's all a lot of dollars, right? Like two thousand five hundred dollars plus a MacBook Pro. That's not that's not bad. So why am I saying you shouldn't try to win? Well, because everyone will try to win, and there will be people who will literally spend tens, probably hundreds of hours in the next month to get the prize, because for them, it's it's obviously a big deal. Even for me, it would be a big deal to win something like this. But for some people who don't have a Mac, for example, um, or, or just people who like to win, uh, this, is, this is a big deal. And so if you just want to enjoy yourself and if you want to learn new things, I would advise don't try to win, because even if you spend the tens or hundreds of hours on this, in the end, it will still be a toss-up between you and 10 other people or teams that that built this kind of thing, right? If you like this challenge, if you think this will provide some growth opportunity for you, then by all means do it. Uh, do it as well as you want it to be, uh, but, but but don't try to push yourself to, to be the best because that just leads to, for 99% of participants, that just leads to disappointment. The last time we ran this challenge when I was still at Google, maybe there was another one, but I, the one that I was involved in was the Flutter Clock Challenge. And let me tell you the best ones, and there were f uh, several ones that were at the top, were just, just amazing. It wasn't one a clear winner over the others. So there was luck involved, basically. For example, if I had to choose, I would choose this one. I think it's it's amazing. Uh, not this one, but but wait a wait a second. This this was my favorite, and this one won, right? I'll get to why this one won uh, later. But but what I'm trying to say is, you can have an amazing thing um, and still not win. And, and you can have a thing that a lot of people would say that is the best and you can still not win. Uh, and you can still not even be the, you know, third. Uh, the, that's also the other thing, right? In when we, when we ran this challenge, it was middle ages in terms of Flutter. There, there were so fewer developers back then than there are today uh, in Flutter. Yeah, expect a lot of competition. All right, number two. Let's say you do want to win or you want to rank uh, highly or you want to just basically grab attention at least, right? How do you do it? Well, try to imagine if you were running 
if you had Flutter SDK, if it was your project, and if you were running an, a competition like this, what would you value? The answer is you value entries that make the best use of the technology involved. And that could that might be impossible or at least very hard to do anywhere else. This is why if you look at the Flutter Clock highlight, the Flutter Clock challenge uh, and the winners, you can see that like there were a bunch of really cool ideas here and really nice clocks that I just like, I think they're amazing. But the one that won in the end was this. And I think the main reason for that was even if it's not it wasn't stated it wasn't like we we at google were like yeah we need to do this this way but in this is a procedural thing that you might be very hard pressed to build in something like the android sdk for example in flutter because you have all the pixels and and so on so if you have customization to the highest degree this is actually not easy, but but it's 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 very possible to do something like this, right? The particles and everything, um, and it's procedural. So it shows the the main. Uh, I mean, one of the main selling points of Flutter. If you come up with a way to make your entry do this, then you're half there. And the other way that people will be looking at your entry uh, in terms of winning or not is. Is it nice to look at? That's basically it. Because in the end, they will want to have a highlight reel like this. And they don't want to, to show a bunch of like not really nice apps. They want to show something that's that takes your breath away. That's my tips. I might not be much, but uh, hopefully it, it helps. Again, I still think if you are excited about the prospect of building a puzzle game like this please go ahead and do it uh, if you would be only doing it because you think oh i might win set your expectations right you know you even if you spend a lot of time doing it you might not win three some personal thoughts i have to say i don't like competition with a lot of prizes because it kind of skews everything and it gives the wrong kinds of motivations People tend to be a lot more dissatisfied when they don't win a bunch of money compared to when they are just don't win a friendly competition, right? I like competitions like uh, Seven Day Roguelike or If Comp, where there are some prizes, but they're mostly just symbolic, and it's mostly about like trying to challenge yourself. That said, I understand what the flutter team is trying to do here is they try to get the best you know the get someone to really spend their time and uh, use all their design chops and their development chops to build something good and ideally a team of people and to do that you really want to give some prices that are pretty pretty good so that some people can say hey you know what i'm going to spend the whole of february trying to do this and and it's still even though i have a small amount of chance of winning it's still something it's better than lottery i also want to say that the last time i was involved with the flutter clock challenge uh, there were some submissions from people who were clearly very talented junior developers who are really trying hard to do something to make something nice and but unfortunately they were obliterated by people who were already really good at flutter and could program apps in their sleep uh, and you know they had the job so in the end i think most of the winners were just you know pros or teams of pros uh, that just like said, okay, we're, we're going to do it. I personally like, uh, and maybe it's just me, but I personally would love to reward the people who are kind of, kind of new and very motivated and make a lot of progress than the people who kind of already know a lot and they are just using what they are, that they already know, right? Uh, but that's the nature of challenges and stuff like this. So yeah. 
I personally cannot really be excited about sliding puzzles uh, for, for whatever reason. It's, it's just really, it never was a big deal for me to uh, this, these kind of puzzles. Uh, so in my view, if I had the time, I would probably instead come up with a different challenge for myself that is only, you know, that, that makes sense for me, that might not have a price or um, uh, something like that, or like dev post page, uh, but is still fun to do and will teach me something along the way. But that's just me, and I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of people out there who are like, yeah, I want to try something like this. I want to try a game in Flutter. And I love the fact that I might even win, or at least see my creation in a, in a show reel at some Flutter event or something like this. Whatever you decide, don't forget to have fun and catch you later.